In this video, I'm going to show you the most lethal under underneath passing concept in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please share, please uh, hit that subscribe button below. I upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, like I said, just hit that subscribe button. Now, if you're wanting to get my entire offensive guide, I actually have a gun bunch offset or gun bunch guide and gun bunch offset guide. So it's actually uh, essentially a bunch guide for the year of Madden 22 and um, it covers every single bunch formation in the game. So bunch offset, bun gun bunch normal, um, the Washington bunch, the Seattle bunch, the, the Carolina bunch, all of those bunches are in there. So it's actually just a complete gun bunch guide. Uh, it's not really one playbook. You can kind of take the concepts and say, okay, I want to run Carolina or okay, I want to run um, New England or okay, I want to run Washington or whatever. So um, that's what I tried to do this year because I felt like, you know, bunch is such a in-depth formation i really wanted to go in depth with it so we did that um, we got over five hours of content uh, available for the gun bunch we're adding a ton of updates today and tomorrow in it um, because it is so good so i wanted to update you guys with some new stuff that i'm doing and then uh, we're actually going to give uh, a carolina specific expansion uh, to this that actually talks about some of the other gun bunches and some of the other things you can do out of Carolina this year. Uh, Carolina's gotten a lot of new formations and I really am excited to share that with you. So that being said, let's jump into the video. If you want to get that offensive guide, there's a link in the description below and you can get that for just 15 bucks. Okay. So you just got to click that link, takes you right over the website and gets it all squared away. All right, guys. So let's go over this. Um, the play we're going over this gun bunch offset spacing switch and spacing switch is an incredible incredible underneath passing concept this year it's actually better i think this year than it's ever been because defense is so bad in terms of underneath in fact uh jp uh or canes from the 818 crew ran this play over and over and over again against K-Mac and was able to secure his ticket to the live event for the MCS Ultimate Kickoff Championship. So obviously if some of the best players in the world are running it, it's really, really good. So let's dive into the video. All right, guys, so spacing switch. Now the first way I want to show you to run, I'm going to give you a couple of different setups today, but first way we're going to run it is no adjustments whatsoever. And this is really good, especially if your opponent likes to run some cover three uh, Mabel coverage because what you're going to notice with cover three Mabel is there's no one in the middle of the field other than the user so um, basically we're just going to snap the ball that's it just literally snap the ball and what you're going to see here is one of these curls on the right will be open and then the other beauty part about this is one of the curls on the left will be open so you're going to have curls on both sides that are going to be wide open so again I'm going to show you spacing switch now look to this left side you're going to see just low ball that route Easy dot, five yards and a cloud of dust, and we're rolling on to the next foray. Real simple, really effective against the cover three Mabel. Now the next defense I want to show this against is the Tampa 2. I think the Tampa 2 is probably the best equipped to be able to consistently stop this. And we're going to show you why here in just a second. But we're still going to be able to fit some routes in. So spacing switch, what you're going to see here is we're going to actually check it down to the swing route. Okay. Uh, as you can see, super easy. And this year, because the flats are so effective, if you check this down or even just hit this guy, you're looking down here, you can hit him right here. You can get upfield for easy three to five yards. Now, one way we can make this even better, though, is if we take this, this triangle uh, back and we put him on a hot rotted swing. What you'll see is this hot rotted swing, he's actually going to cut upfield. So you could pass lead it just like that and get upfield for another, you know, a couple more yards. Like I said, Tampa 2 is probably the most equipped to stop this, especially if they play like a hard flat adjustment. Um, there are things we can do. Uh, one of the things we can do is we can take the running back and like I said, put him on a swing. Or if you put him on a block and release, like a check and release, he'll release like this on a little arrow route. See that right there? See how he pulled him? Um, see how the flat zone will interact with him when he does something like that? So now what we can do is just put him on that check and release, read the right side, then come back and work this other side. Obviously, you have your R1 open as well, so I don't want to miss that. Um, you have your R1 receiver open as well, okay? Now, let's show this play against man-to-man. -man. So, man-to-man -man coverage, um, all you're going to see here is that the X, just low ball it, and it kills man this year. 
absolutely kills man this year. And then the cool part is, not only does that kill man, but your left side guy just lowball him. Whoops, I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what happened there. He actually ran. I think I accidentally hot routed him to a slant by mistake. Um, but take a look at this square receiver. He's just going to sit down just like that. Easy read. The low ball uh, hitches this year are really good. Uh, I think they're better this year than they've ever been. Every single hitch beats man. Every single hitch beats man. Now, the one thing about a low point, if you're going to low point it to the middle guy, the middle guy is kind of the one that's the hardest because the D lineman get in the way. But you just can, you don't have to low point that. You can just easily throw it. Okay? So you're able to beat man to man. Okay, so now let's move to cover four quarters or match defense. How does this do against match defense? Well, you've got your out route on the right side for an easy five yards. The other thing that you have is you're going to have your hitches. Will I mean, you'll have hitches for days on this. You'll see here that square. The thing about match defense this year is it does not do a good job when the receivers are like curl routes, in my opinion, just kill. Any kind of curl settle up route is going to kill match because they stay on top. They don't come underneath. And so it stays on top super, um, you know, super exclusively. And then obviously, like I said, one thing you can do is make this look like verticals as well. So you can motion this guy to the outside just like this. The reason I would recommend that is because they will oftentimes not go to cover two if they see that you're in a defense like that because everybody knows that verticals could come. Okay, so you might not want to. That's one thing. Now I want to give you um, an additional setup, and this one is more in particular for uh, Tampa 2 defense. So the first one is to put the R1 on a curl and then motion this guy to the numbers and snap the ball. What you'll see when you do that is you this curl route should be able to beat that mid read right in the middle of the field just like this. The other thing that I like to do is take the R1 and put him on a slant. The reason I like to put him on a slant is because you'll see now he'll actually pull this zone back and the running back will cut up field for you know an easy five to ten yards so the, the cloud flat coverage will still cover him but what you'll notice is and I would put the running back on a table route but now what you'll see is you can throw the table route you know get up field the other thing that you can do because the table routes a little bit better at holding zones than the swing when you do this you would cover two See here, I can just wait. See how they turn this year to the sideline and get a couple blocks? Easy check down against cover two. Um, and then one more setup, and this is specifically if you have like a slot apprentice, you can put him on a post. So you're gonna do this right here. Why I like this is because this post will put a ton of stress on the vertical hook this year. You'll see how that vertical hook climbs. See how he goes back? Now he did come back up there, but a lot of times you can actually hit that route to the tight end. I'll show you that one more time. But this is, um, and the other the other way you could accomplish the same idea is just streaking the R1. But see there, see that? And mid read's giving me trouble, but typically they're gonna use the mid read and go guard the post, which I'll get to that in just a second. I just wanna show this interaction between the vertical hook defender that just pass lead down. Okay, I guess it's, I guess, they're, I guess that's gonna ruin our tip, that's fine. Um, it, like I said, though, you know, they're going to be making adjustments. If they don't have that vertical hook there, you're going to be able to beat it. But if they do, they're so much more open than just that. So we're just going to wait on this post and just pass lead him up. And you see where he's able to get to. So that's that's kind of the, the an additional setup. And then if you want to get kind of create that same concept, but you don't have Hot Route Master, I suggest just streaking him. And you see there, that's what I'm looking at. See how you can kind of post him up. That's the idea. Um, the other thing you could do is streak circle, um, you know, and then you could actually take R1 and put him on a flat. The only reason I would recommend that is just because of the, the what it'll, it'll just manipulate that vertical hook some more. See how it pulls him out, low ball, easy read. So this play really is um, just a crazy, incredible concept. It really truly is. Now, another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could take the r1 and put him on a smart routed in route so it's not the post it's not the slant but it's a smart routed in route so you'll see here and of course i threw into a cloud but if they if they're playing hard flats right you know let's say they're sending some pressure playing some hard flats or whatever 
typically this is just to hold the user. So it'll hold the user and you can just do this and now the user's held in the middle and then you're able to hit your hitches on the outside. So that being said, this is just a great little spacing concept. It really is. It's so hard to guard, especially if people are trying to stop the rest of what Gun Bunch has to offer, things like corner routes and vertical routes and wheel routes and street seam streaks and all of that stuff, they're not going to be able to stop both. So this is a great play to call whenever your opponent starts to be dropping people back or he's trying to defend the sideline. This is a phenomenal little concept to go to and something that I think Canes really runs to perfection this year. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, there's a link in the description of this video. You can click on that link and go get the full Offensive Guide. And again, we've been updating it several times throughout the first month of the season. We've also, and we're going to continue to do that for you guys. So if you want to get that Offensive Guide, there's a link in the description. You just click that link. It takes you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away.